uh, Sabbaths, I've been building up to uh, this class that we are doing today. Uh, so this will climax the series I've been doing. So if you've been buying the tapes, if you uh, uh, you see how all of this stuff fits in together, and it, um, like the scripture said, the scriptures were left for us for our learning and for our comfort. So as we begin to go through these things, let us understand that it's a reason why Yahweh want us to have our learning and comfort. It's because your names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life that were slain from the foundation of the earth. That's the only reason. Mm -hmm. It's not because we so we so great. And because Israel was so great, because we got a whole legacy that should let us know that Yahweh divorced Israel. It was just that simple. Uh, but he said Judah still had power with him. But because of the new covenant that has been made, then truly uh, all the uh, 12 tribes of Israel will receive the things that has been promised according to the new covenant. And when we get in uh, the prophet Ezekiel and read about certain things as we did last night, we can very well see that uh, Yahweh is doing his thing and bringing his strange act to pass. But Brother Steve, read the oracles of the church and invite him who stands at the door that he may come in and sup with us and us with him, that we may continue to read out of this great legacy and consider what we read because Yahweh our, our Elohim meant exactly what he said. I'm going to read the oracles of the church beginning at 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 7 through 11. But the end of all things is at hand. Be you therefore sober and watch unto prayer. And above all things have fervent love among yourselves. For love shall cover the multitude of sins. Use hospitality one to another without grudging. As every man have received a gift, even so minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of Elohim. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of Elohim. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which Elohim gives, that Elohim in all things may be glorified through Yahshua the Mashiach, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of Elohim, whereby you are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be you kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as Elohim for the anointed one's sake have forgiven you. Be you therefore followers of Elohim as their children, and walk in love as the anointed one also have loved us and have given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to Elohim for a sweet-smelling savor. But fornication and all uncleanness, all covetousness, let it not be one's name among you as become a saints. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving a thanks. Praise God. Revelations chapter 3, verses 20 through 22. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcomes will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the church. Amen. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the church and Holy Convention. I'd like to start our class today in Genesis chapter 1. Amen. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1 through verse 5. These first five books is going to lay the foundation for the class that uh, we are doing today. Amen. Genesis 1 and verse 1 through verse 5. Mm -hmm. Verse 1. <clears throat> In the beginning, Elohim created the heaven and the earth. Mm -hmm. And the earth was without form and void, 
and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the spirit of Elohim moved upon the face of the water. Mm -hmm. And Elohim said, let there be light, and there was light. And Elohim saw the light, that it was good, and Elohim divided the light from the darkness. Mm. And Elohim called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. Okay, now let's go in the third chapter and read verse 1 through verse 10. Verse 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which Yahweh Elohim had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, have Elohim said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Mm. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Elohim hath said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. Mm. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die, for Elohim does know that in the day you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Mm -hmm. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons. Mm -hmm. And they heard the voice of Yahweh Elohim walking in the garden in the cool of the day. Mm -hmm. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of Yahweh Elohim amongst the trees of the garden. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh Elohim called unto Adam and said unto him, Where are you? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. Okay, now, brother, let's go into chapter 6 and read verse 1 through verse 13. Verse 1. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and unto them that the sons of Elohim saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of Elohim came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old men of renown. Mm -hmm. And Elohim saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Mm -hmm. And it repented Yahweh <laughs> that he had made the earth and it grieved him at his heart. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Noah found grace in the eyes of Yahweh. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations, and Noah walked with Elohim. Mm -hmm. And Noah begat three sons, Shem, Ham, and Yaphet. Mm -hmm. The earth also was corrupt before Elohim, and the earth was filled with violence. Mm -hmm. And Elohim looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. Mm -hmm. For all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. Mm -hmm. And Elohim said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, 
I will destroy them with the earth. Okay, now what we're dealing with here is uh, it talked about the sons of God who we know are angels, and we know that angels don't marry, neither are they given in marriage. But what, we, what I'm trying to get out of here, what uh, the subject matter here is, the spirit that moved upon the face of the deep. The spirit that moved upon the face of the deep. Now, from the beginning, we understand that abundant life is the gift that the El of Israel has bestowed upon the whole of mankind. So Yahweh kept a light in the darkness because he saw that the light was good through his holy word as his spirit moved upon the face of, of the darkness creating light. But what man lacked was an intercessor. Because Lucifer, the prince of the earth, had caused man to fall and accused man before our Elohim constantly. As man's adversary strived to show his disdain for a weak, useless, fleshly man who was prone to uh, self-will and to self-rule. So something had to be done that would uh, uh, help man because Man disregarded Yahweh's holy word, which gives man his power. Now let's go in Isaiah chapter 49, and I mean 59 rather, and read verse 1 through verse 19. Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 1 through verse 19. <coughs> Verse 1, Behold, Yahweh's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your Elohim, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies, your tongue have muttered perverseness. None call for justice, nor any pleas for truth. They trust in vanity and speak lies. They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. They hatch cockatrice's eggs and weave the spider's web. He that eats of their eggs dies, and that which is crushed breaks out into a viper. Their webs shall not become garments, neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of iniquity, and the act of violence is in their hands. Now, to show you that, you can check with, uh, with quite a few uh, Hebrew groups in this, uh, 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 in this city, and you'll find out that when Yahweh's holy days come, they have their places of business open. That's against the law. That's against the law, and we all know that. But people say, well, what they tell me, well, you know, you really only have to be worried about this while you're in your land. If you keep that up, you will never get to your land. Yeah. Well, go ahead and read, brother. That was, the, that, was the main, that was one of the main reasons why Israel got kicked out of the land, for uh, polluting that holy Shabbat. Uh -huh. See, this is when the priest does his job on the holy Shabbat. This is when, uh, 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 as a matter of fact, when you get into uh, one of the Shabbats that we, uh, that we have that was given in, 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 uh, uh, in our law book, this was, uh, it was only one time in a year that the priest could enter into the Holy of Holies, and that was on the Shabbat. So Yahweh was a real stickler about that, that Shabbat and the worshiping of pagan gods. But basically, because they wouldn't enter into the uh, temple, they stopped entering into the temple on the uh, Sabbath, uh, start to decay. And we read throughout the scripture where monies had to be, the people had to come up with various monies to go and repair the temple simply because Jake was doing what Jake wanted to do. Yeah, go ahead, brother. Should we not be going to the store on the Sabbath? Well, brother. Uh, if you got a place of business, I wouldn't open up a place of business. But the Sabbath wasn't, man, was, uh, the Sabbath, uh, 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 man wasn't made for the Sabbath. The Sabbath was made for man. Uh, like the Messiah said, it, it, it's okay to do good on the Sabbath day. So it all depends on what you have to go to the store for. Okay. Now, if you just want to go to the store because you want you a pop, then you're in violation of the Sabbath. But if you have to go to the store, okay, say somebody, somebody cut themselves real bad, and you need some bandages and stuff. 
Now, what you gonna do, let them bleed, or you gonna go over there to the dollar store and get the bandages? Okay, okay. Uh, uh, go ahead, Steve. He says, chapter 59, verse seven. And another thing about that, brother, um, I, I've had this come up several times. Uh, uh, brother, some brothers got to the place to where they didn't want the Isha to come in here. Uh, back then, in that kitchen there, brother, we prepare food. They warm up food back then in that, in that kitchen. So the brother said, well, he told Moshe, don't kindle no fire in your dwellings on the Sabbath day. Man, don't you know I know that when people set up in the land of Israel, when the wind gets cold in Israel, when the winter comes, don't you know they had a fire on the hearth? Mm -hmm. Huh? We know that, right? But yet and still, brothers don't want their wives to come in here and go in that kitchen and help the other sisters. But let's look at the fire that's kindled. When you move your thermostat on your, in your house in the winter time, don't you kindle a fire? When you crank up your car, mm -hmm. don't you kindle a fire? Okay. So you have to take things to say with a grain of salt, brother, and use, uh, 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 use some kind of reasoning uh, uh, with that. But go ahead and read, brother. Yeah, it, it, it's like you say, it's the righteousness of the law, right? Of course it is, that's, and that's, that's what that's we're what concerned we with. Right, that's what we're concerned with, because to let up the law kill off 12 whole tribes of people mm -hmm. and got us in captivity today. This is why we were told that the letter of the law kills. Okay, go ahead and read, brother. Yes, sir. It says, chapter 59, verse 7, Their feet were evil, and they had innocent blood. Their thoughts are thought to be wasting and destruction are in their paths. Mm -hmm. The way of peace they know not, and there is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked paths. Whosoever goes therein shall not know peace. Therefore is judgment far from us, Neither does justice overtake us. We wait for light, but we have obscurity. For brightness, but we walk in darkness. We grope for the wall like the blind, and we grope as if we had no eyes. Mm. We stumble at noonday as in the night. We are in desolate places as dead men. Mm -hmm. We roar all like bears, and more sore like doves. Mm. We look for judgment, but there is none for salvation, but it is far off from us. Mm -hmm. For our transgressions are multiplied before you, and our sins are against us. For our transgressions are with us, and as for our iniquities, we know them. Mm -hmm. In transgressing and lying against Yahweh, and departing away from our Elohim, speaking oppression and revolt, conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood. Mm -hmm. And judgment is turned away backward, and justice stands afar. For truth is falling in the street, and equity cannot enter. Mm. Yea, truth fails, and he that departs from evil makes himself a prey. And Yahweh saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. Mm -hmm. And he saw that there was no man, and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore, um, brought salvation unto him, mm -hmm. and his right sustained him. Mm -hmm. For he put on righteousness a heaven of salvation upon his head. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing, and was clad with zeal as a cloak. Mm -hmm. According to their deeds, accordingly he will repay. Fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies, to the islands, he will repay, recompense. Verse 19, so shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh shall stand it against him. The spirit of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him, right? Mm -hmm. Now, remember the Messiah said, you hear are seen his shape at any time, right? Mm -hmm. Well, who was it Moshe and the 70 of the elders of Israel saw in the wilderness? Mm -hmm. Was it him or was it his Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. uh, this is why Moses said, let me see your way. I want to see that spirit. That's what I want to see. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 St. John 1, in verse 1 through verse St. John chapter 1, in verse 1 through verse 34. We're going to deal with two intercessors. 
First intercessor we deal with is Holy Spirit. The second intercessor we're going to deal with is Yahshua Hamashiach. Uh, 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 St. John chapter 1 and pick that up at verse 1 through verse 34, brother. Yes, sir. <clears throat> the Word, and the Word was with Elohim, and the Word was Elohim. And that was the Word, His Spirit, that moved upon the face of the deep, wasn't it? Okay, go ahead and read, brother. Verse 2. The same was in the beginning with Elohim. All things were made by Him, and without him was not anything made that was All made. All things was made by who? By the word. Mm. Go ahead and read, brother. Verse 4. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Mm -hmm. There was a man sent from Elohim who, whose name was Johanna. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which lighteth every man that comes into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. When the Messiah received his baptism, what did he receive? The Holy Spirit, right? Mm -hmm. So he was in the world, and the world was made by him, but the world didn't even know who he was. Go ahead and read, brother. Verse 11. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. He has received him. To them gave he power to become the sons of Elohim, mm. even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, mm. but of Elohim. Right, and in verse 12, and it said, uh, verse 11, said, He came into his own, his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of Elohim, even to them that believe on his name. Now, them Christians like to go right there and read that. Say, See, he said it, he was talking about his own, as many of his own. And truly, we for the first 10 years after the Messiah uh, uh, was resurrected from the dead, only Israel had the word. Okay, go ahead and read, brother. Verse 14, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory as of the only begotten Son of the Father, full of grace and truth. This is why the Messiah said, I am my Father one. When you see me, you see my Father. Because the Spirit them, the spirit dwelled in it. Mm. Okay. Go ahead and uh, read, brother. Yeah, Elder, before you go to, we get back to Genesis chapter 1, when they got in the beginning God, but if the Hebrew word was there, Elohim, the end was always pure. So when they say met us, they come through to people, but put in like a singular, you know what I mean? Like mm. God. Mm. Correct. Like the right Correct. Time, Correct. Know, that let us let you know it was more there to it than just Elohim sitting on the throne. It let us know right there was more there to it. Elohim sits on the throne and give commandments. Mm -hmm. See? A king give commandments. The soldier. Okay. Okay. Remember, Israel was called the gods too, right? Mm -hmm. it was the god that destroyed the Egyptian the Red Sea when the Philistines saw the coming, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. <laughs> Absolutely correct, brother. Okay. Go ahead and read, uh, Steve. Johanna, chapter 15 witness of him and cried saying this was he of whom I spake he that comes after me is preferred before me for he was before me now let's understand that John the Baptist older than the Messiah wasn't he mm -hmm. okay go ahead and read verse 16 and of his fullness have all we receive and grace for grace for the law was given by Moshe but grace and truth came by Yahshua Hamashiach. Man have seen Elohim at any time. The only begotten son which ill he have declared. Listen what he said. He told you something that was happening. At, 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 it was present tense. It said, verse 18, <laughs> No man has seen Elohim at any time. The only begotten son which is in the bosom of the Father. He had declared. The Messiah was on earth, was it? Okay. Going to read, brother. John chapter 1, verse 19. 
And this is the record of Yohanan when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Messiah. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? And he said, Are you that prophet? And he answered, No. Then said they unto him, you, That we may give an answer to us. What saith thou of thyself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness, make straight the way of the Adonai, as saith the prophet Esaias. And they which were sent were of the Pharisees. And they asked him and said unto him, Why baptize of thou then, if thou art Mashiach, neither that prophet? <coughs> Johannes answered them, saying, I baptize with water, but there stands one among you whom you know not. He it is who coming after me is preferred before me, whose shoes latchet I am not worthy to unloose. These things were done in Beth Abara beyond Jordan, where Johanan was baptizing. The next day, Johanan seeth Yahshua coming unto him and says, Behold the Lamb of Elohim, which takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, after me comes a man which is preferred before me, for he was before me. Now all these brothers that's walking around here and that's talking about their messiahs, can they take away your sin? Mm -hmm. If they can't take away your sin, then they, ain't, they are not messiahs. Okay. I, I, I have seen a lot of them that uh, follow them with the, with the things that they're teaching. And, uh, okay. Of course, brother. Go ahead and read. Verse 31. And I knew him not, but that he should be made manifest to Yeshuael, therefore baptizing with water. And Johanan bare record, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it abode upon him. And I knew him not, but he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me, Upon whom you shall see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, the same is he which baptizes well. And by record that this is the Son of Elohim. Okay, now go in and read verse 60 through verse 65. Let's see what the Messiah, some Messiah had to say here. St. John chapter 6 and verse 63 through verse 65. Verse 63. It is the spirit that quickens. Flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, mm. and they are life. Mm -hmm. But there are some of you that believe not. For Yahshua knew from the beginning who they were that be believed not, and who should betray him. Mm. Therefore he said, verse 65, I'm sorry, and he said, Therefore said I unto you that no man except to him of my father. Okay, my brother. Now, surely it was the word of truth that brought you to sanctuary because uh, of the, vo the voice of Elohim truly is holy. We understand that there are many who read the Holy Scroll, yet the truth and holy things completely eludes both their wise and prudent due to Yahshua's choosing. And the vain jangler we hear on the first day of each week, these things show that a soul, uh, uh, that Babel rather, is alive and gaining in strength. Yahweh is calling and choosing his, giving them spiritual gifts for edifying, and Lucifer is giving his pleasure to the wicked as he sees fit. But let us see the things that are, are truly given to us to walk in. When we consider what the angels spoke to Joseph and Miriam concerning Yahshua's purpose, what's written shows raised up in Yahweh's written word and was aware of that purpose, right? Okay, now let's go back to Isaiah chapter 59 and read verse uh, 20 through uh, uh, chapter 60 and verse 3. Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 20 through chapter 60 and verse 3. 
verse 20. <clears throat> and the Redeemer shall come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgression and Yaakov, says Yahweh. And this is my covenant with them, says Yahweh. My upon you, and my words which I have put in your mouth shall not depart out of your mouth, nor out of the mouth of your seed, nor out of the mouth of your seed, seed says Yahweh, from his forth and forever. As from this covenant with them, saith Yahweh, my spirit that is upon you, and my words which I have put separated to them. Messiah said the words are spirit. We're going to deal with that. But, but go ahead now and read, brother. It says, chapter 60, verse for thy light is come, and the glory of Yahweh is risen upon you. And the glory on you, right? Not the word. What is his glory? His spirit, isn't it? Okay. Good. This is why Moshe told him, say, let me see your glory. Okay. I had one Israelite brother from, uh, uh, from out of uh, That's why the, uh, Moses couldn't, couldn't about it, because his glory is in his face. I said, man, his glory was the whole being. Verse 2, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But Yahweh shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon mm -hmm. thee. And the Euro Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of your right. Okay, my brother. Uh, uh. The word are of a spirit nature which must be to you by your priests in and out of assembly. This is why we were told how could we have a preacher. Mm -hmm. But we must study to show ourselves approved walking in the word and through prayer and supplication just might give and obtain them through Yahweh's great mercy. However, there are some who receive gifts given and misuse what is given for our honor. That's because it causes the soul not to tell God the whole bit of truth. Not only have you got to receive the word, but you got to tarry the whole word. Pick this up in the beginning and see how all that's done. Exodus 13 through verse 22. Exodus chapter 13 and verse 7 through verse 22. No, Right. Right. Some people have received baptism in the Lord. Said, "Yeah, you received the Holy Spirit. Told it there was no spirit, but they had the word, didn't they?" Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. So we have to understand what we're dealing with. See, people have times. You know what? Y'all just don't know what you're dealing with yet. See, we've been raised up by Satan in this world here, and we think that our mind is so sharp and we have so great an understanding through our miseducation being raised up. But then as we begin to read this word, we find out that all the stuff that we learn, we got to be deprogrammed and then be reprogrammed. Okay. Chapter, uh, uh, where I told you to go? Exodus 13. Yeah, Exodus chapter 13, verse 17, my brother. Yes, sir. And it came to pass, when Pharaoh had let the people go, that Elohim led them not through the way of the land of the Philistines, though that was near. For Elohim said, least peradventure the people repent when they see war, and they return to Egypt. But Elohim led the people about through the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea, and the children of Israel went up harness out of the land of Egypt. They took the bones up on the children of Israel, saying, Elohim will surely, and you shall carry up my bones away hence with you. Mm -hmm. And they took their journey from Sukkoth and encamped in Etham in the edge of the wilderness. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day took not of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people. Okay, my brother, now let's go into chapter 14 and verse 19 through verse 25. 
verse 19. And queen, which went before the camp of you, removing went behind them, and the people went in their face and saw them, and it came between the camp of Yeshua. So we understand it was the angel of uh, 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 of Elohim that was in the cloud, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. Yes, sir. Verse 20. And it came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp, and there was a cloud and darkness to them, but it gave light by night to these, so that the one came not near the other all the night. And Moshe stretched out his hand over the sea, and Yahweh caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. And the children of Yisrael went into the dry ground, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. And the Egyptians went in after them to the midst of the sea, even all Pharaoh's horses and his horsemen. And it came to pass that in the morning watch, Yahweh looked unto the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of the cloud and troubled the host of the Egyptians. He looked through his Holy Spirit that was in the cloud. Go ahead, brother. And took off their chariot wheels that they drove, so that the Egyptians said, let us flee from the face of Israel for Yahweh for them against the Egyptians. Okay, now let's go into Deuteronomy chapter 40 and verse 32 through verse 38. Deuteronomy chapter 40 and verse 32 through verse 38. Hmm? Whoa! Uh, let me, uh, how did I get finished in chapter 40? What let's do, let's, we'll, we'll come back to that. Let me find it. Let's go to 1 Kings 7 and verse 20, 51 through chapter 8 and verse 11. 1 Kings 7 and verse 51 through chapter uh, 8 and verse 11. Verse So was King Slomo, house of Yahweh, and Slomo brought in the things which David had dedicated, even the silver, and among the treasures of the house of Yahweh. Then some of the Israel, and all the heads of the tribes, the chief of the fathers of the children of Israel, King Slomo, in Jerusalem, that they might be the ark of the covenant of Yahweh out of of David, which is Zion. And all the men of Israel assembled themselves unto King Slomo at the feast in the month Ethnam, Ethnam, I'm sorry, which is the seventh. And all the elders of Israel came, and the priests took up the ark. Of the ark of Yahweh, and the tabernacle of the and all the holy vessels that were in the tabernacle, even those that the priests and the leaders and King Slomo and all the congregation of Israel that were assembled unto him were with him before the ark, sacrificing sheep and oxen that could not be told nor numbered for multitude. And the priests brought in the ark of the covenant of Yahweh unto his place, into the oracle of the house, to the most holy under the wing. Cherubim spread forth their two of the ark, and the cherubims covered the ark and the staves thereof. And they drew out the staves of the staves were seen out in the holy place before the oracles, and they were out, and there they are until this day. There was nothing in the ark save the two tables of stone, which Moshe put there at Horeb, when Yahweh made a covenant with the children of Israel when they came out of the land of Egypt. And it came to pass when the priests would come out of the holy place that the cloud filled the house of Yahweh, so that the priests stand to minister because of the cloud, for the glory of Yahweh filled the house of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. 
You finished that, brother? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, go to uh, uh, Psalms 104 and verse 20 through 4 to, to, through verse 30. So we have to, so we have to, what we're trying to do is show who it was that was always coming in the temple. Uh, uh, Psalms 104 and verse 24 through verse 30. Oh Yahweh, how manifold are you made them all. The earth is full of us. So is this great and wide sea, wherein are things creeping innumerable, both small and great beasts. Mm -hmm. There go the ships, there captain, whom you have made to play therein. These wait all upon you, that you may give them their meat in due season. That you give them, they gather. You open your hand, they are filled with good. You, they are trying. You take away their breath, their breath, and return to them. You send forth your spirit. You do what? You send forth your spirit, and they are created, right? Okay, go ahead, brother. And you renew the face of the earth. Okay, my brother. Now go. And read verse 12 through verse 16. Say us chapter 48 and verse 12 through verse 16. Verse 12. Hearken unto me. And Israel, my call. I am he. I am the first. I also am the last. My hand also have laid the foundation of the earth and have spanned the heavens. Mm -hmm. To them, they stand up together. Mm -hmm. All you assemble yourselves and hear. Which among them have declared the have loved him? He will do his Mm -hmm. And his arm shall be on the areas. Mm -hmm. I even I call him. I have brought him, and he shall make his way. Mm -hmm. Come, you near unto me. Hear this. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning, from the time that it was, there am I, and now the Adam and Elohim and his spirit have sent me. You click. Now the Adonai Elohim and his spirit has sent me, right? Okay, the piece of scripture that I was looking for was Exodus chapter 40. Uh, Exodus chapter 40 and verse 32. Exodus chapter 40. Mm -hmm. the light the Correct. Correct. But it lights up way over there. That same, that's what it, that's exact, that's a good analysis of it, my brother. That's a very good analysis of it. Exodus chapter 40, and pick that up at verse 32 through verse 38. Yes, sir. When they went into the tent of the congregation, and when they came near unto the altar, they walked as Yahweh commanded. Now, Moshe. this is once they set up the tabernacle of witness in the wilderness. Now, they put everything in there that was told, and these are the events that uh, took place once they got everything set up. Go ahead and read, brother. Verse 33. He read of the court round the tabernacle and the altar and set up the hanging of the court gate. So Moshe finished. Mm -hmm. Then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of Yahweh filled the tabernacle. The same cloud that was in the world of the tabernacle, right? Okay, so who was it that goes into this tabernacle? It was the spirit of Yah, right? Okay, go ahead, brother. Verse 35. And Moshe was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation because the cloud abode down and the glory of Yahweh filled the tabernacle. The cloud taken up from over the 
The children of Israel went forward in all their journey. But if the cloud was not taken up, then they journeyed not to the day that it was taken up. For the cloud of Yahweh was by day, and fire was on it by night. Same thing happened in the wilderness, wasn't it? Same cloud, same fire, same angel. In the sight of all the house of Israel throughout all their journey. Let's go and see what uh, Brother Saul had to say about this thing. Let's go and see verse 24 through verse 28. Romans 8 and verse 24 through verse 28. Yeah. yeah, brother, I can understand that. I can understand that in the darkness of the night, brother, you don't see nothing. Yeah. That's what the children of Israel the glory, the spirit of Yahweh. Yeah, right. See, it said, uh, it said, uh, uh, the spirit of Elohim is the glory of it, and the Lamb is the. Then there was a great voice from heaven that said, "Of all, dwell with them and be their God and nation." Okay. To create the new heaven, if it wasn't going to be anything. Okay. Just have to know what we're dealing with. Romans chapter eight. At verse 24. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why does he yet hope for? Mm -hmm. But if we hope for that, we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Likewise, the Spirit also helps our infirmity. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself. Intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Praise you And he that searches the heart knows what the Spirit makes intercession for the saints according to the will of your Spirit that makes intercession. Now we so now in the Messiah. But it's the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, intercession. Why? Because the Holy Spirit was on the right hand of the covenant that Moshe built. Go ahead and read, brother. Verse 28. Question. What do you mean by intercessions? I don't know. What do you mean by intercessions? Well, that's when uh, the Spirit goes before uh, before the people, looking for uh, things that we need and so forth and so on. And because of the, the Messiah does that because of our sins, but these are the things that are pleased for us for the things that we need. Well, we can't pray into the Spirit. We pray into Yahshua. And then... well, we pray that angel here. Okay. Um, Yahweh, Yahweh is a Gideon army. His <laughs> eyes and ears are the angels that are on the earth. This is why I said he has given his angels charge over you. And you should not be moved unless you dash your foot against a stone. When you pray, okay, to an angel. You pray to your creator and keeps the records. The angel writes that down. Okay, so it's the angel that presents that prayer. If it's a worthy prayer, uh, uh, if, if it's a prayer of necessity, the angel that presents that supplicate, that prayer before you create it. So just to hear my prayers and take them to the Father. Well, well you pray, you pray to your Father in Yahshua's name, mm -hmm. and that's what causes the angel to hear it because you prayed in Yahshua's name. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Of course, he's known by, well, we're going to deal with, we're going to deal with that, that too. Yeah, we're going to deal with that too. Uh, did you think? No, sir, I got last verse, uh, 28. And we know that all things work together from that love Elohim to them who are the call according to his the one I really don't know what you need to find out. Uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and verse 1. 1 Corinthians 2 and verse 1 through verse 13. All of us have a purpose. I don't know what your purpose is. Don't come to me because I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I ain't gonna touch that. I know where to draw the line between the things things of the Holy Spirit. So you uh uh, as you come around and, and, and hang out in the congregation, you'll find out one thing. Eventually, you're going to find out what your purpose is. What the, what the prophet said, spiritual things, mm -hmm. right? 
Yeah. That's what those brothers under that old order don't, they, they can't deal with it, can't they? They don't, they don't know what the spirit is all about. They deal with a whole lot of natural things, man. Yeah. And, uh, uh, folks walk around trying to be somebody. I went, uh, I remember once, uh, I, I came here the same year that some brothers uh, came here from Israel. And I went down there, you know, trying to see what the brothers about, you know, see what we can get together and talk about some things, see what's going on, you know. Picture of a brother that had three different faces on it. It said, he shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, mm. the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. I said, that's blasphemy. I said, to bleed. Okay. Yeah, okay. Do he have desires that uh, flesh the man has? If he does, then he can't be can't be the Messiah because the Messiah was always res resurrected. And I went in the uh, in the seventy weeks of Daniel and put the Messiah on the scene in on the scene in the book of Daniel in the year twenty six. And the brother got up the picture and as soon as he turned it on, the light went out. <laughs> yeah, kinda kinda shook my brother Gideon up there for a minute, but uh we saw what that was all about, you know, especially when you go into places like Psalms 45 where it said, Therefore, God, even you that's above your fellows. Who and what God anointed? What God of God? Okay. First Corinthians 2, and pick that up at verse 1 through verse 13, brother. When y'all come over here, y'all get the unadulterated. That's why my, all of my classes have been geared toward your salvation and who you're dealing with. Uh, so you won't have no excuse. First Corinthians 2, in verse 1 through verse 13. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or wisdom, the testimony of Elohim. Not to know anything among you, save Yahshua, Hamashiach, and Father. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of Elohim. Mm -hmm. Howbeit we speak among them the perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the persons of this world, that but we speak the wisdom of Elohim in a mystery. Even the heaven which Elohim ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Adonai of glory. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which Elohim have prepared for them that love have revealed them by his spirit. Mm. For the spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of Elohim. For the spirit searches all th things of Elohim. Why? He wasn't talking about the word here. The spirit searches all things. The deep things of Elohim. The word only goes so far. Then things has to be revealed to you by the Holy Spirit, haven't they? Mm. That's when you start growing in growth. Yeah, brother. Verse 11. For what man knoweth the of man save the spirit of man which is in saved him. Is there a descendant? Go ahead, brother. Even so, the things of Elohim knoweth no man but the spirit of Elohim. Mm -hmm. Verse 12. We have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of Elohim, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of Elohim. Okay, my brother. Uh, uh, oh, you got one more verse, since you go ahead. Last verse 13. Which things also we speak, not in the word man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Okay, my brother. Right on the money. Chapter 6 and verse 9 through verse 20. Right, right here, speaking like when we going out to start doing a mystery, we, we speaking the wisdom of the mysteries of Elohim, mm -hmm. and those people that are learning about this, that's what uh, verse uh, 12 and 13 come in at with that, right? Mm -hmm. 
A lot of people understand the word, God, but when you get to dealing with spiritual things, they don't understand the spiritual thing, and that causes a lot of people all uh, thought. Because see, what we do, we have to try to, because of uh, different levels of understanding, we have a tendency to try to debate with the word. You can't debate with the spirit. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. You know, okay. before we go on to, we just read that we have probably seen the spur of, of the world, right? Mm -hmm. But you know that in, in John 3, 16, you say you love the world, but the same thing for the uh, those that keep the command. Mm -hmm. Virtually, you know, keep the command. Of course. The world of the natural. Of course. You teach my Bible class, man. Yeah, okay. Uh, Who well, I told you go and verse 9 through verse 20. Know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Elohim? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor as shall inherit the kingdom of Elohim. But you are sanctified, but you are justified in the name of the Adonai Yahshua and by the spirit of our Elohim. You are justified by his spirit, right? Go ahead, brother. Verse 12. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not under the power of any. Mm. Belly and the belly for me, but Elohim shall destroy both it and them. Mm. Now the body is not for fornication, but for the Adonai, and the Adonai for the body. Mm -hmm. And Elohim have both raised up the Adonai, and will also raise up us. Know you not that your bodies are the members of the anointed one? Shall I then the anointed one and make members of a heart being forbid? What? And he which is joined to our harlot is one body? For two, says he, shall be one flesh. But the body that is joined unto me is one spirit. Not into his word now, but he and a nay is one spirit. Go ahead and read, brother. Verse 18. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man does is without the body. But he that commits fornication is against his own body. What? Know you not that your body is the Holy Ghost which is in you, which you have of Elohim, and you are not your own? For you are bought with the price. Therefore, in your body and in your spirit, which are Elohim. Okay, my brother, now let's go into Zechariah chapter 7 and verse 8 through verse 12. Zechariah chapter 7 and verse 8. came unto Zechariah, saying, Thus speaks Yahweh of hosts, say, Execute true judgment, and show mercy and compassion every man to his brother, and oppress not the widow, nor the fatherless, the stranger, nor the poor, and let no evil again other in your heart. But they refused to hearken, and pull away the shoulder, and stop their ears, that they should not hear. Mm. Yea, they made their hearts as an adamant stone, lest they should hear the law and the words which Yahweh of hosts have said in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great from Yahweh of hosts. Okay, my brother. Now I want you to go into uh, uh, 1 Peter 4 and verse 12 through verse uh, 14. 1 Peter 4 and verse 12 through
verse 12. Now change concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you, but rejoice, inasmuch as you are partakers of the anointed one's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. If you be reproached for the name of the anointed one, happy are you. For the spirit of glory rests upon you. Their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is. Right. The word rests, spirit rests upon you, right? Hebrews 1 and through chapter 2 and verse 18. Hebrews 1 and verse 1 through chapter 2 and verse 18. said that I thought about things that come out of the Don't you start. Don't you start. I know you get ready to start something today. Go ahead, brother. Uh, it come out, uh, this, this Christian minister told me uh, it was a sin for a woman to make coffee. What's it say? Hebrew. something I had, I had heard too, brother, but it's kind of, I really don't, uh, I'll leave that alone. I'll tell you about that one later on. Uh, where I told you to go, man, Hebrews 1 and verse 1 through chapter 2 and verse 18. You say Hebrews, but see, we always want her to brew. Okay, okay, yeah. Israel that sundry times amount of spaking times pass unto the fathers by the prophets, having these last days spoken unto us by his son, of all things by whom also he made, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand. Now, how did he do this? He did this because the spirit had rested head. Before that, he was the son of David. He came and rested upon him. There was a great voice from, from heaven said, My beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Who, which one? Huh? Which one? The son, the, the, the spirit that came and dwelt in the Messiah or the Messiah himself? The one that came and abode in the body. The one that came and abode in that body. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead and read. Verse 4. That is spirit, his Holy Spirit. Okay, go ahead and read. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 4. Being made so much better than the angels, as he had by inheritance obtained a more name than they. Which of the angels said he at any time, you are my son, this day have I begotten you. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. Again, when he brings in the first begotten into the world, he says, and let all the angels of Yah worship him. As he says, who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. But until he says, your forever and ever, a scepter of righteousness is the scepter of our kingdom. Of righteousness and heavenly. Therefore, he God have anointed you with the all glad mm. oh, Adam A in the beginning have laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of your hands. They shall perish, but you remain, and they all shall wax old as does a garment, and as a vesta shall you fold them up, and they shall be changed. The same and thy years shall not fail. But how did he address them in verse ten? And you what? Add a name. Yes, sir. Right? Okay. Mm. Go ahead, brother. Verse 13. But to one of the angels, sit on my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them for the of salvation? Mm. 
Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, least at any time we should let them slip. Spoken by angels, was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience receive a just recompense or reward. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which at the first be spoken by the Adonai, and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him, Elohim also bearing them witness both with signs and wonders, and with divers miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost, according to his own will. For unto have he not put in subject the world to come? But one in a certain place testified, saying, Man, that you are mindful of God, the Son of Man, that you visit him. You made him a little lower than the angels. You crowned him with glory and honor, and did set him over the works of your hands. You have put all creation under his feet put all in subjection under him he left nothing that is not put under him but now we see not yet all things put under him mm -hmm. but we see Yahshua who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death crowned with glory and honor that he by the grace of Elohim should taste death for every man for it became him for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, in bringing many sons unto glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. Mm -hmm. For both he that sanctifieth and sanctifieth are all of one, for which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren, saying to my brethren in the midst of the church unto you. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, behold, I and the children which Elohim have given me. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, likewise took part of the same, that through the power of death, that is the devil, ever them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Verse 14. For as much children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death, him that had over death, that is the devil. Okay, go ahead, brother. Yes, sir. Verse 15. Over them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Mm. Wherefore in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brother. Wherefore in all things him ghost to be made like unto his brothers, to become and dwell in that sinful flesh, right? But that was the only way that he can uh, 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 feel the, uh, the passions and the desires and so forth that, that we had. But go ahead and read, brother. Yes, sir. That he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to Halloween, to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself have suffered being tempted, he is able to help them that are tempted. Okay, my brother, now let's go into Revelation. Let's go and pick up one of these things. Jesus, here. Let's go into Revelation 22 and verse 8 through verse 16. Revelation, yeah. He also himself uh, was two part the same. I guess that means uh, this Holy Spirit when the correct other. right on the money. That the money there. Revelation chapter twenty-two and verse twenty-four through verse twenty-eight. to preach Give me a second. How did I get that? <laughs> okay. Uh, Revelation 21 and verse 8. That's where I want to Revelation. What? Remember the anointing read the boat. Let me read in Isaiah 61. And I showed up and said the spur of Yah, the positive. All above my brethren, 
Correct. Correct. The spirit came and dwelt. Please and drive with the spirit dwell. Now we will have to go read that. Okay. Uh, it's okay. That's okay. Uh, now we don't have to go read it. That's what he said. The spirit will be Because he has anointed me to do this. And that's mm -hmm. okay. Uh, uh, Revelation chapter 21 and verse 8 through verse 16. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Mm -hmm. And there came unto me one of the seven angels which had the seven vows for the last plague. He talked with me, saying, Brother, I will show you. The Lamb's wife. Okay, my brother. Now skip over to chapter, uh, uh, where you at? 20, chapter, I'm sorry. Chapter 22 in verse 8. How did I get that? And I, Johannes, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then says he, don't you do it. For I am your fellow servant, and of your brother. Of this book, worship Yahweh. And he says unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. I am the beginning and the end, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. So we know that this is the spirit that dwelt in Yahshua then, don't we? Go ahead, because it said it was the angel that talked with him, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For outside are dogs and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loves and makes a lie. I, Yahshua, have sent an angel to testify unto you these things in the church. Bingo. That's the Holy Don't we have Holy Ghost? Ain't that what come on my Yahshua? Huh? He said, I have sent my angel to testify you of these things in the church. Okay. No wonder why you told that lady you that worship my worship things for any truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 She had to have the spirit. Plus she had to have the truth in the word, didn't she? Well, okay. 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 So the angel we just read about it in Hebrew, they ministering the spirit. Right? Yeah, of course. That's right. who we're dealing with. We're dealing with the Holy Spirit, right. Okay. Go ahead. Yes, sir. I am the root and the offspring of David mm. and the bright and morning star. Mm. Okay, and, brother. I don't want to okay. go no further than that. Surely the angel of Yahweh is the Holy Spirit that dwells among his children because he desired it. And as his word and spirit becomes one in us, it will also quicken our mortal bodies. Is not this why the angels minister to those that are to be heirs of salvation? But because of holy words spoken to our fathers, the holy seed, Yeshua, our God, King, High Priest, has made us uh, 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 of the kingdom's priesthood, that we should be his ambassadors, that the light would dwell in our deeds among the sons of men. But these things come with the price because we cannot survive on hope alone. This is why we understand that hope without godly worship and service is vanity and a very great de uh, deception. But to rather, Yisrael, let us walk in the power of the light before he is taken out of the way. Remember, he told us that what's holding these things back now is the Holy Spirit until he be taken out of the way. So let us walk in that light, that we may be justified in our sayings and works, and being trees of righteousness, uh, we might be the, uh, planted by the master of assemblies, and we just might uh, overcome when we uh, judge. I got another piece of scripture here. I want to, uh, a couple more pieces of scriptures here I want to uh, uh, read here. Uh, Zephaniah chapter 3 
from verse 1 through verse uh, 20. Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 1 through verse 20. Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 1 through verse 20. Right. 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 And you know when the Holy Spirit is upon you, brother, because when the Holy Spirit is on you, make you do things, man. No, I tell you, man. Yeah, yeah, but you, you know, uh, when they say, um, when you say, when he say, I, I put what you need to say in your mouth when the time comes, mm -hmm. or when somebody comes to you with question, it's not pretending to anything spiritual, your salvation, mm -hmm. he ain't finished, he be talking with you in that. But, well, what that basically is, brother, is that you need the word. This is why I tell you, you got to read this. You got to read this manual. You got to read this book because if you don't read it, the spirit can't bring back to you and then that's what you have read, you see. So the spirit brings back that word, the word rather, is made manifest in your mind because the word's the spirit. But having the Holy Ghost now, that's a whole different ball game. Okay. Well, wait, if you're a Gentile, you can't understand the word, but if I get it from you, then I, like I said, take a note or something and then I talk to somebody but no I'm not doing that I'm not saying that I'm just saying like if I can't I can't understand the word Gen uh, and all Gentiles read the word have to go to the Jew to understand it so uh, but we can get the spirit even though we can still get the Holy Spirit that can move us even though we can't say hey Matthew chapter 5 or sex one the nations uh, uh, the nations received uh, gifts of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And the gifts of the Holy Spirit is the things that was given to uh, uh, for the edifying of, of the body. That's what the nations received is the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The children of Israel received the Holy Spirit. It's a great difference between gifts and the Holy Spirit. But see, that's because when we get back in Revelation, we read that, uh, 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 y'all get it real early, because the, the, the nations are not going to uh, wash their robes in the blood of the Lamb until the great tribulation come upon the earth. So it's a great blessing uh, for anybody from the other nation to receive that word yet, see. Uh, uh, this is why uh, Paul, uh, you were told, say, let the word of God dwell richly within you. Mm -hmm. Okay. You okay. ever see gifts of the Holy Spirit? Uh, the Holy Spirit was poured out, out, out upon uh, 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 the nation of Israel. Okay. Uh, go ahead and read, brother. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 1. Woe to her that is filthy and polluted to the oppressing city. Mm -hmm. She obeyed not the voice, she received not correction. She trusted not in Yahweh. She drew not near to her Elohim. Her princes within her are roaring lions. Her judges are evening wolves. They gnaw not the bones to the morrow. Her prophets are like and treacherous persons. Her priests have polluted the sanctuary. They have done violence to the law. The just Yahweh is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning does he bring his judgment to light. He fails not, but the unjust knows no shame. I have cut off the nations. Their towers are desolate. I made their streets waste that none pass by. Their cities are destroyed so that there is no man, that there is none inhabitant. I said, surely you will fear me. You will receive instruction so their dwelling should not be cut off howsoever I punish them. But they rose early and corrupted all their doings. Therefore, wait you upon me, says Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations 
that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. For then will I turn to the people a pure language that they may all call upon the name of Yahweh to serve him with one consent. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my suppliants, even the daughter of my dispersed, shall bring my offering. And that day shall you not be ashamed for all your doings wherein you have transgressed against me. For then I will take away out of the midst of you them that rejoice in your pride, and you shall no more be halted because of my holy mountain. I will also leave in the midst of you an afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of Yahweh. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies. Neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, for they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. Sing, O daughter of Yehuda, shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. Yahweh have taken away your judgments. He have cast out your enemy. The king of Israel, even Yahweh, is in the midst of you. You shall not see evil anymore. Mm -hmm. And that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not. And to Yehuda, let not thine hands be slack. Now in verse 15 it says, Yahweh has taken away your judgment. He has cast out your enemy, the king of Israel. Even Yahweh is in the midst of you. You shall see. You shall not see evil anymore. Well, if the spirit is in the midst of you, it's going to have to be the Holy Spirit, isn't it? Okay, go ahead and read. Verse 17. Yahweh thy Elohim in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly who are of you to whom the reproach of it was a burden. Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict you, and I will save her that halted and gather her that was driven out, and I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. At that time will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you. For I will make you a name and praise among all the people of the earth when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, says the Most High. Amen. He was first, he's got in the process of turning back our captivity to sin. Then he's given, he's uh, uh, get, put his spirit in it and turn back our captivity to death. Yeah, uh, a question to the back, brother. Yeah. So verse 9, is that back to the Hebrew? Pardon me? Verse 9. Uh, is, is that, that just to the Hebrew? No, brother, it's going to be just like it was before the flood, the whole, uh, before the Tower of Babel. The whole earth was a one language. Exactly. And that's what he's going to do. Regards to the Hebrew, man, he knew that. He said he, he's going to give us a, a, a pure language. Okay, he's going to give us a language that man hasn't spoken before. You see, a language that you can't pollute with, with strange words. Okay, and that's going to be, regards to where you go on the earth, everybody's going to speak that same language. That way, you will not need no interpreter. And once they interpret to, they interpret to you, you don't know whether you told you the truth or not. <laughs> okay, Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 1 through chapter 48 and verse 14. Well, according to what I read in my book, Israel can't return to the land until the Messiah comes and uh, after Yahweh pours out all his wrath on the earth. That's when you talk about the gathering, didn't you? He said, uh, Yahweh says, save the tents of Judah first. Now, uh, 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 we know that Judah hasn't been saved. Now, just because few people went to Israel, that ain't all the Judah. Okay. 
Okay. Judah will be saved uh, when Amer just before America is destroyed. That's when we will be uh, uh, saved. And according to the prophet that told you a rumor is going to go forth one year, then next year a rumor, and violence in the land, ruler against ruler. That's when we're going to be saved. That's what we're headed for in this country right now. That's when the house of Judah is going to be saved. Anybody that's in the land now is going to be killed off by the beast or the false prophet. Uh, either Moab uh, 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 and Ammon that's calling themselves the Palestinian, we know we know what's going to happen to them. He said he's going to spread the Messiah, he's going to spread his arms to him, he's going to spread his arms to him like a man that's swimming. He's going to stain all his raiment with blood, right? And he told us that Esau, uh, the ones that's calling themselves the Jews, is going to go in captivity on us, and then their whole seed is going to be destroyed all. So everything is, is right in order, but... What man does, because people don't know this book, and because people are so gullible, it's easy for a brother to talk about and say, hey, I'm a Messiah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, what was saying that this morning, the one about the seed, is because we know in the Lord Report, there are some scattered among the nations, but then he comes back here as from Satan. Mm -hmm. Makes that you turn back to me, even in a lot of days, right? Mm -hmm. it, it, it can, wherever you are, and where you return to your eyes. <laughs> well, the folks got a lot of nerve. Folks kicked them out, kicked us out of the land. And then we want to go back over to the land. Don't run nothing but that little group is right there. Mm -hmm. The Israelis can come in there and say, okay, pack up. We're going to move y'all over here. Ain't nothing you can do but pack up and move over there. Then they come and say, well, pack up. We're going to move y'all over there. Keep moving. They can do anything they want to do. Run those Israeli tanks through there and flatten out everything. You know why? They're in control. And see, I don't, when Israel go back to the land, brother, the Mashiach is going to be here. See, this, is old, uh, this was the promise that he would come the first time and seal a new covenant in his blood. And once he sealed that new covenant in his blood, and uh, we had to have a, a human sacrifice because it was impossible for the blood of animals to take away our sin, because Yahweh had said, eye for an eye, tooth for tooth, foot for foot, hand for hand, and blood for blood. And it was impossible for animal blood to cover man's sin, besides it didn't do nothing for the conscious. So when the Messiah came, he set everything in order, didn't he? You see, so we had to have that, uh, that covering for our sin, and it had to be a human sacrifice. That's when a brother, if a brother tell me, say, well, I'm, a, I'm the Messiah, I say, well, brother, they're going to string you up on the tree. <laughs> now, I already know what's going to happen to you because it's been prophesied. Go back and read the prophets. Go read the prophet Isaiah. They're going to string you up on the tree. Read Psalms 22, you're going to see how much you're going to suffer. I'm going to see how much the Messiah you're going to be then. Yeah. Well, I just want I, I just want to throw out some. We got uh, down over there, right? We got the Colossians that they went down over there in, in Somalia, mm -hmm. and they brought those people back up in there. How I mean, what? How do they propose to get that land back? I mean, like I you said, they're just languishing over there. They just cows over there in their own land. I don't know what they are. I don't know how they plan. And I'll tell you another thing too, brother. The Israelis can confiscate their passports. And they can't come back. They can't get, get out of there. See? But you understand, folks, talking about we in our land. No, we ain't. No, we're not in our land. We're in captivity. We got 400 years to be here. Yahweh said he'd be 400 years. When the children of Israel went back, when he told them they'd be down to Babylon 70 years, it was exactly 70 years before Nehemiah and them folks went back, wasn't it? Okay. Okay. Uh, a whole lot of things need to, needs to be desired by that, brother. But see, that's what happens when you get to walk around talking about you're a Messiah. You always have a tendency to put people around that can ball your stuff up on your, on your faith. And if he is, let me read something. to We're going to read it in this chapter right here. Hmm. Psalms chapter 45. Pick that up in verse 1, my brother. Psalms 45, Bill? You say it says 45. That's one. I told you, y'all have to leave me alone today, man. I'm... <laughs> A lot of things on my mind, man. Uh, uh, Psalms chapter 40, uh, Psalms chapter 45. That's where, I, that's where I want to go. Uh, Psalms chapter 45 and pick that up at verse 1 through chapter 48 and verse uh, verse 14. This is going to be the last piece of uh, scripture we're going to read today. I'm going to get out y'all here for today. Y'all got y'all got a lot to chew on when you get home. So yeah. I chewed on it for I chewed on it for 31 years. I uh, got a lot to chew on. Chew on. Uh, Psalms chapter 45, and pick that up at verse 1, my brother. Thus says Yahweh to his anointed, to Cyrus, 
whose right hand I have holden. To That's what my up. book say. So you still in Isaiah? Okay, I thought we was in Isaiah. No, we're in Psalms okay. chapter forty-five. Right. And well, you ain't listening today, brother. <laughs> Me either. Uh, Psalms chapter forty-five, and pick that up at verse one, my brother. Psalms forty-five, verse one. Right. Okay. This is the king that's going to rule over us. This is the king that's going to bring all of the 12 tribes back to the land of Israel. Mm -hmm. Let's see what he got to say, say about it. Okay. Verse 1. My heart is indicted in a good matter. I speak of the things which I have made touching the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Mm -hmm. Thou fairer than the children of men. Grace is poured into thy lips. Therefore, Elohim have blessed thee forever. Now, remember, he told David, say, David, you're, you're going to never like a man to sit upon your throne, right? Mm -hmm. Well, where's David's throne now? See? This is the Shiite that's going to sit upon that throne and sit on that throne forever. Yet still, whoever I'm strong tell me that uh, the Queen of England sits upon the throne. He said a man. Okay. Go ahead and read, brother. Verse 3. Guard thy sword upon thy thigh, O most mighty, with thy glory and thy majesty. And in thy majesty ride prosperously because of truth and meekness and righteousness, and your right hand shall teach you terrible things. Mm. Thine arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies, whereby the people fall under you. Mm -hmm. Your throne, O Elohim, is forever and ever. The scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter. Thy love of righteousness and hate of wickedness. Therefore, Elohim, your God, have anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. Mm -hmm. All your garments smell of myrrh and aloes and cassia out of the ivory palaces whereby they have made you glad. King's daughters were among thy honorable women. Upon your right hand did stand the queen. Of now in verse 6 it says, Your throne, O Elohim, is forever and ever. The scepter of your kingdom is a right scepter. You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, Elohim, your Elohim has anointed you with, glad, with the oil of gladness above your fellows. He had given him eternal life, right? Well, everybody I know right here going to die, brother. Mm -hmm. Okay. See you later. Bruce, the only thing they could the only way they can extend their life is talking about eating products. Right. I mean, it's an eternal thing. They, man, uh, then clean, you got to keep your body clean out now. You got to understand that. You got to take all that junk to keep your body clean out, but you got to have some impurities in it to fight off other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's why folks be getting sick and everything. Uh, I done clean everything out of my body. What you doing sick then? Yeah. Go on and read, brother. Verse 10. Hearken, O daughter. And consider and incline down here, forget also your own people and your father's house. Mm. So shall the king greatly desire your beauty, for he is your Adonai, and worship you him. And the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor. The king's daughter is all glorious within. Her clothing is a Roth gold. You're talking about the house of Judah, right? Yes, sir. I don't see none of this stuff taking place on the earth today. Go ahead, brother. Verse 14. She shall be brought unto the king in raiment of needlework. Mm -hmm. The virgins, her companions that follow her, shall be brought unto you. <clears throat> With gladness and rejoicing shall they be brought. They shall enter into the king's palace. Instead of your fathers shall be your children, whom you may make princes in all the earth. I will make your name to be remembered in all generations. Therefore shall the people praise you forever and ever. Forty-eight, fourteen. okay. I said because you made a point on verse 7 my uh, wickedness, therefore, Elohim, your Elohim. Uh, so, could you explain that? Somebody. A God anointed somebody a God. Okay. That's all it says, brother. That, that, uh, 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 that the Elohim of Israel, 
made somebody a god. Okay, now who did he make a god? He made Yahshua a god, did he? Okay. When he returned, he told him to stick your hand in my side. Uh, spirits don't have flesh and bone as you see me have. So that's what we're talking about there, brother. Uh, go ahead. Psalms chapter 46, verse 1. Elohim is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will we not fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters there are roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. There is a river, the stream whereof shall make glad the city of Elohim, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. Elohim is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. Hmm. Elohim shall help her in that right early. The heathen raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. Yahweh of hosts is with us. The El of Yaakov is our refuge. Come, behold the works of Yahweh, what desolations he have made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cuts the spear in sunder. He burns the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am Elohim. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Yahweh of hosts is with us. The Elohim of Yaakov is our refuge. Oh, clap your hands, all you people. Shout unto Elohim with the voice of triumph. For Yahweh Most High is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. He shall choose our inheritance for us, the excellency of Yaakov, whom he loved. Elohim is gone up with a shout. Yahweh with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to Elohim. Sing praises. Sing praises unto our king. Sing praises. For Elohim is the king of all the earth. Sing you praises with understanding. Mm -hmm. Elohim reigns over the heathen. Elohim sits upon the throne of his holiness. The princes of the people are gathered together even the people of the Elohim of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong unto Elohim. He is great, greatly exalted. Great is Yahweh, and greatly to be praised in the city of our Elohim, in the mountain of holiness. Beautiful for situ situation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Sion, on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. Hmm. Elohim is known in her palaces for a refuge. For lo, the kings were assembled, they passed by together, they saw it, and so they marveled, they were troubled and hasted away. Fear took hold upon them there, and pain as of a woman in travail. Mm. Thou breaketh the ships of Spain with an east wind. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of Yahweh of hosts, in the city of our Elohim. Elohim will establish it forever. We have thought of thy loving kindness, O Elohim, in the midst of thy temple. According to thy name, O Elohim, so is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. Thy right hand is full of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Let Mount Sion rejoice. Let the daughters of Yehudah be glad because of your judgment. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Count the towers thereof. Mark you well her bulwarks. Consider her palaces that you may tell it to the generation following. For this Elohim is our Elohim forever and ever. He will be our God even unto death. Amen and amen. Now, is not this why the angels minister to those that will be heirs of salvation? But that's because 
uh, 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 the nations are ruled over by Lucifer, Lucifer rather, the lesser light that was good until iniquity was found in him who rules in darkness. As we rediscover our roots, we understand that the salvation of man depends upon the redemption of our 12 tribes. Mm -hmm. And for this reason, Yahshua, the Lamb of Israel, was sent bearing the word that lighted the house of Israel. This way, our light will shine before men that uh, they, through us, would have opportunity to walk in this word. This is why Yahshua ascended on high and gave gifts to the, uh, those of his choosing, of his choosing rather, to those of the assembly. Not that we deserve to uh, 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 receive holy attributes because heretofore we were all alienated uh, by the darkness of disorder. But then let us go and see, hear the conclusion of these things and see some things that were said by the preacher. And let's go in the Psalms of Solomon, Psalms of Solomon, chapter, uh, I want to pick this up at uh, verse 1 and verse 1. Songs of Solomon, verse one and verse one. The Songs of Solomon. A lot of people says a lot of poetry. It's about uh, it's about it's about the law for the church. It's about the things that was done for the church. It ain't got nothing to do with no woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Songs of Solomon, chapter one, verse one. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon's. Let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth, for thy love is better than wine. Because of the savor of thy good ointments, thy name is as ointments poured forth. Therefore do the virgins love you. Draw me, we will run after you. The king hath brought me into his chambers. We will be glad and rejoice in thee. We will remember thy love more than wine. The upright love thee. I am black, but calmly, O oh, you daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedah, as the curtains of Slomo. Look not upon me, because I am black, because the sun have looked upon me. My mother's children were angry with me. They made me to keep up the vineyards, but my own vineyard have I not kept. Tell me, O oh, you whom my soul loves, where you feed, where you make your flock to rest at noon. For why should I be as one that turn aside by the flocks of your companions? Hmm. If you don't know, O oh, you fairest among women, go your way forth by the footsteps of the flock and feed your kids beside the shepherd's team. People say you don't have to do that. All of us got the spirit. We don't need no teacher. We don't even have to have no uh, 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 place to worship because man is the temple of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and the Holy Ghost dwells in man, right, but not in you, buddy, mm -hmm. because we are one to uh, uh, keep holy uh, convention. Uh, I go to chapter 7, my brother, and pick that up at verse 10. Seven and what? Seven in verse ten. I am my beloved, and his desires toward me. Come, my beloved, let us go forth into the field, let us lodge in the villages. Let us get up early to the vineyards, let us see if the vine flourish, whether the tender grape appear, and the pomegranates bud forth, there will I give you my loves. The mandrakes give a smell, and at our gates are all manner of pleasant fruits, new and old, which I have laid up for you, O oh, my beloved. Mm -hmm. All that you were as my brother, that sought the breast of my mother, when I should find you without, I would kiss thee. Yea, I should not be despised. I would lead thee and bring thee into my mother's house who would instruct me. I would cause thee to drink of spice wine of the juice of my pomegranate. His left hand should be under my head and his right hand should embrace me. I charge you, O daughters of Jerusalem, that you stir not up, nor wake my love mm. until he please. Mm. Who is this that comes up from the wilderness leaning upon her beloved? I raised thee up under the apple tree. There your mother brought you forth. 
There she brought you forth that bear thee. Set me as a seal upon thine heart, as a seal upon thine arm. For love is strong as death, jealousy is cruel as the grave. The coals thereof are coals of fire, which have a most vehement flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. If a man would give all the substance of his house for love, it would utterly be contemned. Mm. We have a little sister, and she have no breasts. What shall we do for our sister in the day when she shall be spoken for? If she be a wall, we will build upon her a palace of silver. And if she be a door, we will enclose her with boards of cedar. Mm -hmm. I am a wall, and my breast like towers. Then was I in his eyes as one that found favor. Slomo had a vineyard at Baal Hamon. He let out the vineyard unto keepers. Every one for the fruit thereof was to bring a thousand pieces of silver. My vineyard, which is mine, is before me. You, O slow mo, must have a thousand, and those that keep the fruit thereof, two hundred. Thou that dwelleth in the gardens, the companions hearken to your boys, cause me to hear it. Make haste, my beloved, and be you like to a roe or to a young heart upon the mountains. Of spice. Amen. And because of his love for the church, because the church is a wall that's going to uh, to set up the uh, uh, that the Gentiles was grafted, the nation was grafted into our, our, our tree. This lets us know that truly Yahweh is the creator of all flesh, and He's going to save the flesh that He chooses to save. This is why, as we embark on the journey through biblical history, we find that because man has chosen to walk in the darkness of a flesh, a uh, mind prone to, to self-will, man alienates himself in uncleanness concerning the word that is spirit. And from the Holy Spirit of truth, uh, 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 who gives comfort uh, uh, to all of us. But that's because they are ruled over, like I said, by Lucifer, the lesser light. So let us understand these things as we rediscover our roots, simply because the whole creation depends on the salvation of our 12 tribes. So let us walk honestly in the faith and uh, uh, in the glory of the uh, Elohim of Israel as we allow the words to go out of our mouths out into the world. So it's been said, so let it be written. Even so, come Lord Yeshua and save Jacob from out of his troubles. That's all I'm going to do. Good plan, good plan, good plan.